Good evening everybody. Welcome to my channel. Uh, click the like button. Subscribe if you like. That would be awesome. And I thank you so very much for coming and visiting my channel. We're going to start out tonight, because I missed yesterday and last night. Uh, so I've got a lot lined up here. But this one here, plus another one, uh, is very important. Now this is Brent Bart's news. Okay. According to a survey from Brent Bart News, over 70% of voters would not support a candidate who would support policies that prevent law enforcers from effectively handling violent crimes. A national survey conducted by the Trafalgar Group, and that's T-R-A-F-A-L-G-A-R, the Convention of States Action, the American Federation of State, County, Municipal Employees, revealed that most Americans are not likely to support candidates who support policies that limit the ability of law enforcers to detain violent criminals. The result of the survey, which were obtained by the right-wing news outlet, indicated that 95.6% of the respondents were not likely to support a candidate who supports policies aimed at preventing law enforcers from detaining suspects for violent crimes such as armed robbery and kidnapping. The survey results showed that only 4.5 percent of voters are likely to support a candidate who supports policies that prevent law enforcers from apprehending violent criminals. This included 1.7% of the respondents who said they were somewhat more likely to back the candidate, 2.8% who said they were very likely. According to Mark Meckler, the president of the convention states, the results of the survey show that voters, voters are concerned about crime in 2022, and it's clear that the issue is becoming more prevalent in democratic-controlled cities. The increasing number of anti-justice policies in these areas has also affected everyone. The results of the survey also indicated that a wide variety of voters are against far-left policies. They also support candidates who support policies that prevent law enforcers from effecti effectively handling violent crimes. The results of the survey showed that 93.7% of Democrats are not likely to support a candidate. On the other hand, 6.3% of Democrats said they were more likely to back the candidate. The results of the survey showed that 93.7% of independents are not likely to support a candidate, but while 3.3% of Democrats said they were more likely to back the candidate. The results of the survey showed that almost 100% of Republicans are not likely to support a candidate. And on the other hand, 4.3% of Democrats said they were more likely to back the candidate. According to Meckler, the results of the survey showed that voters are concerned about crime in 2022. And it's clear that the issue is becoming more prevalent in democratic-controlled cities. He also noted that the lack of clear and consistent message from the Republican Party regarding their commitment to addressing the issue could have a huge impact on the November elections. The survey was conducted by the Trafalgar Group, the Convention in States, and the National Association of State Election Officials. Among 1,079 likely voters in the U.S. for the 2022 presidential elections, the margin of error was 2.9%. Well, I would support the police. Now, I know that there's good and bad in everybody. There's good police officers and there's bad police officers. One apple in a barrel can spoil the whole barrel of apples. But don't let it. 
We need the police. We need their guardianship, their compassion, and being there if we need them when we call. Now, where would we be without them? Yeah, 2020 crime. I mean, there's been crime since the beginning of time. Okay, we all know that. But it seems that since Trump left office, I'm not sticking up for Trump, but I'm just saying, it seems that when the Democrats started to give our country away to other countries, all that money that we could have used to build our country to a perfect, almost perfect condition. And that money just went right out the window to everybody else but us. And the crime started picking up, didn't it? Now, I could be wrong, because I don't know the statistics of the crimes, what the percentage of it is, but I know that people are almost scared to walk out their front door anymore. There could be somebody waiting behind a tree with a gun. There could be somebody behind a bush, underneath your living room window, with a knife. The minute you step out the door, who's going to say you're not going to get attacked? People don't care no more. Thanks to the way the country's been ran for the past two years. Now, I may be wrong. Leave me a comment. I truly and appreciate it. Believe me. But we need the police. We've got to have some sort of protection. And yes, there has been tragedies. Police have overstepped their bounds. Yes, so has everyone else in this whole wide world. But that doesn't spoil for the good police, the ones that really have compassion, ones that really care and ones that have patience and take their badge and their oath to heart seriously. I just say don't vote against what police have done in the good. Don't vote against them. You know, we need help. And yes, we need it more now than we have ever needed police before. And more police, good police. Good men that take the oath and promise that oath to take care of the citizens of their communities. The same way with Highway Patrol. Same thing. But yes, there's good and bad there too. But that's life. We live it and have lived it ever since we took our first breath of being born. But you can't blame the whole barrel of apples. Don't let one spoiled apple ruin the whole barrel of the good apples. You know? Okay. Like I said, I missed yesterday and last night, but I was still working behind the scenes and I have lots and lots of videos to go through tonight. So I'm going to be doing maybe one at a time, possibly two. But this one I did want to portray. And the next one I do is also very important to everybody. And uh, I'm going to say I'll be back. God love you. Let me find my little camera button here which I always got to look for. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> I'll be back.